A letter to my wife. Sarah, today is the day you become my wife, and I couldn't be more excited. I am the luckiest man on earth. In you, I have the woman of my dreams, someone who I am proud of, someone who I know will stand by me and stand up for me. In good times and bad, I know and trust that you are there for me. I can't wait to start a family with you and grow old with you. Today, let's celebrate us. This is our day. I love you, Sarah. I'm so excited to spend all my days with you. Love your husband, Andy. Andy, today is the beginning of the rest of our lives. I couldn't be more excited to do life with you. You're my best friend, biggest cheerleader, and now my life partner. This is gonna be our best adventure yet. This life has so much more in store for us, and I can't wait to see it unfold with you by my side. See you at the altar, baby. I love you, your wife, Sarah. I love you too, Sarah.
Please be seated. We are gathered together in the sight of God to witness and bless the joining together of Sarah Brakefield and Andrew Justice in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us male and female for each other. With his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. Sarah and Andy come to give themselves to one another in this holy covenant. I ask you now, in the presence of God and these people who love you, to declare your intention to enter into union with each other through the grace of Jesus Christ who calls you into union with himself as acknowledged in your baptism. Sarah, will you have Andy to be your husband, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love him? comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If so, say, I will. I will. Andy, will you have Sarah to be your wife, to live together in holy marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. We never travel alone in this life. Our loved ones journey with us, encouraging us along the way. As Andy and Sarah enter this sacred moment, they are surrounded by the ones closest to them. Who comes with Sarah this day to bless this marriage and to pray for the fullness of life that lies ahead? Her mother and I. Now, to the families of both Sarah and Andy, I ask you, do you rejoice in the union of Andy and Sarah? And do you pray God's blessings upon them? Do you? We do. And now, will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage. Will you? We will. Let us pray. Almighty God, you orchestrate our steps. You permit our paths to cross. And sometimes you allow our hearts to touch. Deep within each of us, you have placed a longing to be loved as well as you have placed the capability to love. Today we give thanks to you for Andy and Sarah, for their open hearts and willing spirits, and for the love that they embody at this moment in this sacred place. Be with them, O oh Lord. Let their years be full of happiness, and may their words to each other be forever sweet. Bless their home and allow it to be a place of laughter, love, joy, and peace. Nurture in them their trust for each other. May each of them be forever compassionate toward the other. May they learn to forgive themselves as well as the other. May life's vocations bring blessings their way, but teach them, Lord, to enjoy each moment and treasure the gift of play. Walk with them through life's struggles. May they hold on to each other, but most of all to you. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus, and we seek his blessing on this wedding as he blessed one in Cana of Galilee years ago. Amen.
Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete ones, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish, childish ways. For now we see in a mirror, dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I only know in part, then I will know fully. Even as I have been fully known, and now faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these is love. It was near this area right off this street where a connection happened. It was at a Christmas parade here in Burles Inlet where you guys started to talk and you made a decision that day that it would not be the last time that you guys would get together. So before you knew it, you were on a boat together, <laughs> heading over to Georgetown for a day, a day where you were able to just be in each other's presence, to learn about one another, and to also begin to enjoy and to cherish your time together. And I kind of was laughing this week when I was thinking about this. It was almost the worst possible time to meet somebody because you have Christmas coming up and you have this new relationship and then you have to figure out, do I get them a Christmas gift or not? And then not only is Christmas December 25th, but February 14th is coming uh, right around the corner. And I share that with you because today we're here to talk about a gift. The gift of love, the gift of marriage, the gift of one another, the gift of Jesus Christ, who shows us a more excellent way. And so Andy and Sarah, I want you to cherish this gift, this gift of sacred covenant that we call marriage that you are entering into today. And since it is a gift given to you by God, I want you to cherish and to hold on to that gift. And I want to give you three ways in which you can care for this gift of marriage that God is sharing with you. And the first one is I want you to be thankful. To be thankful every day for the one that God has given you. To wake up and before you think about all of those, to do um, tasks that are on the list, I want you to just say, God, I'm so thankful that Sarah, and I'm so thankful that Andy is the one who is journeying with me through life. Never miss a day to thank God for one another. The second way to care for this gift is I want you to take care of it. That this isn't the climax of your marriage, that the wedding is not the definitive day that will define your life together. It is choosing to live a life that we heard the Apostle Paul describe. So every day, put energy and time and effort to say, God, I want your gift of love and I want it to flow through me and I want my spouse to feel loved. And the third way to care for this gift is simply to cherish it. Marriage is the most amazing journey that we can enter on. Marriage is a gift that keeps on giving. And it is something that is sacred and special. And for all of the people who've been married, it's something that needs to be cherished most of all. So don't allow the demands of life and work and whatever lies ahead to prevent you from simply cherishing the gift that God has given you. And if you're thankful and if you care for your marriage and if you simply cherish it, your time together will be sacred. Amen.
Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify with your Holy Spirit, Sarah and Andy, who come now to join in marriage. Grant that they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days, that they may reach out in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Andy, will you repeat after me? In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Andy, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I, Andy, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And Sarah, will you repeat after me? In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Sarah, take you, Andy, to be my husband. I, take, I Sarah, take you, Andy, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the Church of Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in your peace and continue in your favor. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Amen. the ring on and repeat after me. Sarah, I give you this ring. Sarah, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Andy, I give you this ring. Andy, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. have declared your consent and vows before God in this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that Andy and Sarah have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you have con so consecrated the covenant of Christian marriage that in it is represented the covenant between Christ and his church. Send therefore your, therefore your blessing upon Andy and Sarah, that they may surely keep their marriage covenant and so grow in love and godliness together. 
that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Andy, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I love you. It's my joy. It's my joy to now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Paul Justice. should be consuming the consumables. <laughs> Jean Ann and I would like to thank everybody for coming tonight and, uh, and being part of this special day for Sarah and Andy. And uh, my, my thanks to everybody who helped put it on. A lot of work, but um, it's great. Lovely venue. Looks super out here. And um, I'm just glad to be here, and I hope you all are too. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Two or three people want to have a good time tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, 
let's get this started by introducing the wedding party. And the first couple are my son Carter Breaker, Breakfield and Becca Siebert. And then there's Austin Urgel and Jen Mishu. Jeremiah Williams and Maria Cosentino. Chris Campbell and Mary Stanley. Joey Ray and Bonnie Kelly. Chris Conklin and Emily Christensen. Or as I call her, Blondely. Justin Hirsch and Allie Durant. Brandon Barnes and Anna Justice. Brian Justice and Kenzie Sautoff. She's the matron of honor. And Andy's best man, his dad, Ralph Justice, and Tiara Duncan, the maid of honor. I'm also just so happy to have the Justice family, now part of the Breakfield family and extended family, and everybody here tonight, your friends and family, have a great time. And I'd like to introduce to you Andy and Sarah Justice. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Jenny. I'm Tierra, one of Sarah's lifelong friends and maid of honor. I'm shaking so bad. You got this! First of all, thank y'all for being here to celebrate the bride and groom. Sarah, you look stunning. And Andy, you don't look half bad yourself. This friendship is 16 years in the making. We know more about each other than we probably care to. Sarah and I met in Miss Bork's sixth grade class and I have never stopped making memories together since then. When you have a friendship this long, you collect endless amounts of juicy secrets and embarrassing stories, <laughs> but we won't get into that tonight because one, <laughs> it will take days to tell them all. <laughs> and two, oh God. And, and two, because Sarah will literally kill me. <laughs> If you happen to catch me anywhere else, the embarrassing stories are fair game. Sarah, good lord, I love you. And I am so thankful for you and our lifelong friendship. I am more than honored to stand beside you on one of the best days of your life. From, oh my god, I'm shaking so bad! From after school snacks to skating rink days to crazy summer days that turned into nights, Life with you as a best friend has been fun, to say the least. I am so happy for you. You have found your life partner, adventure buddy, and husband. Woo! Andy, I am so happy that God chose you for Sarah. Not only, oh God, I'm gonna cry. Not only because, not only because you make her smile and the fact that I have no doubt you will always stand by her side through everything, but because I have gained a friend in you too. You are awesome, and Andy, always remember, happy wife, happy life. Yay! I cannot wait to watch y'all grow old together and get to experience all of life's blessings. May your love be modern enough to survive the times and be old-fashioned enough to survive forever. Everyone, please raise your glasses and join me in congratulating the beautiful bride and the handsome groom. I love you both. Cheers to forever. like a story. So I'm going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, a young boy was born named Andy Judges. And Andy realized very quickly he had an older sister, and then shortly thereafter, a younger brother. And it dawned on him that he was the middle child. <laughs> to this day, I don't know why Andy was so upset. He looked really good in Anna's clothes. <laughs> Andy and I used to like to play games together. One of his first ones was throwing uh, the floaty toys, the rubber duckies, the little boats into the toilet. And right, right quick, I got real good at taking the toilet apart all the way down to the wax seal on the floor. So, we had a lot of good times. I'm so thankful for this night. We love Sarah. We love Andy. Here's a toast to you. We love you both so much and wish y'all the best. I will say one thing. Uh, how about Gene Ann and Steve for this wonderful party? Yeah! Also to my beautiful bride, Sarah, for making me smile, for being there every day, and for our future. I love you. Thank everybody. Ooh, that's a little bit loud. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for coming. It means the world to us to celebrate this special day with all of the people that we love and love us. Um, we are just so excited to embark on this new chapter together. And cheers and let's party. <laughs>
I used to spend my nights out in the bar room.